Hello, so let's talk about how solo practice accountants or bookkeepers can create marketing content. I um, just have my little notes in my hand. So very important. Number one thing when we're trying to make marketing content is to understand what our prospects one care about when watching our videos and you know when actually working with us. And second, what language do do they use and what accounting language do they understand? One of the biggest mistakes that I see when it comes to language inside of content is that we assume that everybody knows basic accounting vocabulary, which is not the case. And it is very, very, very easy to lose someone especially when we're making videos we're speaking either really fast or we're trying to prove some kind of point or we're just talking about our services and here's where it's so insidious because you're never really going to know where you lost someone all you're going to know is that they suddenly either stop watching your videos or they stop responding or you're on the appointment and they start going uh-huh 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 and stop really communicating it's when they start checking out that's really what this is all about how can you make content so people do not check out? So number one, if you have a particular niche or a group of people that you're working with, or that you love working with, for example, let's say that you only work with restaurant owners because it's very easy. The stuff will be you know straightforward. You don't have to have a lot of complexity. Go talk to go talk to some of the restaurant owners that you either know or that are your clients currently, and start start quizzing them. Just say, hey, do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? What do you call this? What do you call this? You're going to start to get a list of words that they understand and a list of words not to use. Because if you have been spoken to someone or someone is your client and you ask them what this word means and they get it wrong and they've been working with you for any period of time, chances are other people in that same community or that same niche are not going to know that word. And you know, unfortunately, since we either are not working with them currently or since we cannot talk to them since we're actually doing the video content, it's hard, we can't explain ourselves after the fact. So if you use some word like abitta and no, and they don't know what abitta means, you're not gonna be able to say, okay, abitta actually means blah, 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 blah. They would have already checked out. So if that's what you want in your life, come and join us by clicking the link either above or below, and I would love to see you inside. Have a great day, I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you in the next video, talk to you later.